to write here, we're going to look at how to find vectors. Let's consider the uh, ball starting at the T on the golf course here and being hit like this. That's the vector that's labelled A, the movement that's labelled A, and it goes from the T off O to here, to this point, which I'll call capital A. We could write down the vector from O to A, which we might write like that, and I see in this case the vector is labelled a bold A, so I write an A underlined like that, and the vector, let's find out the vector, so that vector has a horizontal movement, and it has a vertical movement. Now the horizontal movement is a positive movement of 6, and the vertical movement is up, so it's a positive movement of 2. So the vector OA is the vector 6, 2. Let's have a look at the vector C now. I'll change colour. C is hit from the T off to this point here. So let's consider what the vector C will be. What's the vector of that movement? Well, it's called little c, and it's underlined to show it's a vector, or it's in bold when it's typed. Now, the horizontal movement is a horizontal movement in a positive direction of 4, and the negative movement, it goes down 2. So the vector is going to be 4 minus 2, the negative there, making it clear that that's a movement down rather than up. Okay, let's look at one more. Let's look at E. Now, you can see shot E. I'll do this one in green. Here we are. It starts here, and shot E is shot from the edge of the green straight towards the hole there. So shot E ends up here. Now, what's that movement? Now, I guess... You might be tempted to draw the right angle triangle that looks like that, which would be fine. But you need to think about the horizontal movement first, so the along first. So you might find it easier to draw this one. Go along here. That's a horizontal movement of minus 2, because it's 2 in a negative direction. And then a vertical movement of plus 1, so 1. So the vector E is the vector minus 2, 1. Right, so let's give you a chance to do some, to check that you're confident in what you're doing. So in this question here, I've got a map, and it's got three points labelled on it, A, B, and C. And the question tells me that the vector from A to B is 5, 3. So first of all, just check you agree with that, and I hope you do, because from A to B, I go 5 along, and then I go 3, up. So 5, 3 is the vector from A to B. Right, you're asked for three vectors here. So if you pause the film now, you can have a go at those three, and then you can play the film and see if we agree. Okay, A is from B to A. So I'm going to draw my arrow from B to A. Now, if I'm going from B to A, then I'm going to go horizontally, in a negative direction, that looks like minus 5, and then vertically, I'm going to go minus 3. So my answer there is minus 5, minus 3, and you perhaps knew that because it's simply the opposite of the vector from A to B, which we knew was 5, 3. Right, what about from C to B? Right, start from C, make my way to B. Well, in that case, my horizontal movement it's going to be 9 in a horizontally positive direction, and then 1 down. So my vector, I think, is going to be 9 minus 1. There we go. Yep, we're correct. And lastly, from A to C. Let's have a look at A to C. So I'm going to start on A, and I'm going to make my way to C. Okay, so horizontal first, remember minus 4, and then plus 4. Let's see if we're right. I'm going to move the like symbol, which is a good opportunity for me to ask you to like this film if you're finding it useful. Is the answer going to be minus 4 plus 4? Yes, it is. So that is a quick film on how to find vectors. Be careful of your signs and make sure you do the horizontal 
first. If you found this film useful, please hit like and perhaps consider subscribing to the channel.